Tonight on The Prophet, this is Surfside Beach, a tourist haven on the South Carolina coast, and a place where local businesses love their outdoor advertising. You know what I love about Highway 17? A lot of signs. All the signs. I've been called by the owner of a small sign company. Banners. All day long. Backlit, nonlit, frontlit. I sell a lot of stuff. Who won't be satisfied until he's the biggest vendor in the state. I want to deal with a lot of uh, national companies. I don't want to deal with mom and pops anymore. He's incredibly ambitious. I'm a go-getter. I'm a go-go guy. But overly confident. How long does this take? Probably about three weeks. We could definitely knock this on out in a week. You guys got to get your story straight. If I can figure out how to check his ego and get him to listen, as a potential customer, I have to worry that you're going to sue me. You think so? He might just get to the top. My name is Marcus Limonis, and I fix failing businesses. If you don't like money, don't follow my process. I make the tough decisions. We're closing the store. We're done. I'm not talking about it anymore. I back them up, spending my own money. It's not always pretty. Perfect flavor. But this is business. You got to trust the process. I do it to save jobs, and I do it to make money. Thanks for your business. This is The Profit. <laughs> Surfside Beach is a picturesque resort town, a great place to vacation, and a great place to call home. Anthony Leggio and his girlfriend, Kristen Christian. Good morning, ASL Signs. Moved here from Long Island two years ago to start a family. I know, you want daddy time. And a business, ASL Signs. Do you want to finish doing this estimate? Oh, yes, please. Oh, boy, here we go. With a $200,000 loan from his dad, Louis, Anthony was able to get the sign shop up and running quickly. He's got expensive machinery to make the signs and the trucks to install them. In their second year of operations, ASL generated $300,000 in sales and made a $45,000 profit. Come on, come on, get some work done. But Anthony wants more, much more. I want to go big. That's why I'm here, make money, lots of it. To get there, he's going to have to do more than just talk big. He already told me that he will be in, so. Stop arguing. Let's just get it done. He's going to have to start thinking smarter. I just want a deposit, and if you don't like us or our company, we'll refund you back the money. Yeah, but all of the other sign companies aren't doing that. As an owner of a lot of businesses, I spend over $1.5 million a year on signage. And I know that this industry has explosive margins. If I can get Anthony to focus on growing strategically while putting the best process in place, all signs point to making millions. I pulled right up to the edge of the uh, curb. Hey! How you doing? Mr. Marcus Lamone. It's such a pleasure Are to you meet you. Are you Anthony? Yes, sir, it is. Nice to meet pleasure, you. Pleasure to meet you. You know what I love about Highway 17? A lot of signs. All the signs. Yeah, new signs we do a lot of. We just did one, the car wash. I don't know if you saw it on the way here. Big LED board. It was about 32 grand. We just finished it. Oh, whoa. The customer's really stoked about it. Now, I don't know your business, and I'm excited to learn it. And so I know a little bit about it because I buy a couple million dollars a year worth of signs across all these I businesses. I know a good sign company. I know you do, but I, gotta, <laughs> but I gotta get comfortable with what you're doing. So what exactly does ASL Signs do? We are a one-stop shop manufacturing plant, so we do high volume, low labor. Banners? All day long. For sale signs? As many as you need. Signs on the building? Absolutely. Backlit, non-lit, front-lit? Yep. Uh, we, do you manufacture it? We manufacture the signs. We manufacture a larger scale of things, bigger things. That's what makes you different. You're that's not just a sign company. You're a right. sign manufacturer. That's right. And that's what I try pushing. I did not know that. I, I did not know that. On. Now I'm intrigued. Do you like the way the showroom's set up? I, I feel comfortable with it. The showroom at ASL is total chaos. The walls are littered with signs. What I'm seeing in here, honestly, as I walk in, is I don't know where to look. OK. And in order to tell a story effectively to the customer, you need to be clear and give them options, but you have to do it in a way that's easy to follow. Can I show you some yeah, of the equipment? that'd be great. How are you? Hi. I'm Marcus. Kristen. She's the boss. She so what's your relationship? <laughs> this is my boyfriend. And where did you guys meet? Uh, New York. Who's that? That's this good looking guy over here. I even got him on the back of my shirts. It's just a little branding. What's the ASL stand for? Uh, that is actually my initials, Anthony Sal Leggio, or American Sign Legion, I like to call it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> First time I've ever heard the American Sign 
anything. It just means he's making it up. Oh, no, 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 I've heard totally that. Made I've never, never told you that. heard you say that, ever. It's always been asshole to me. <laughs> asshole. Asshole. <laughs> who, who made the logo? Josh. Josh. Ed. It's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> well, uh, joke's on him because now I'm using yeah, it. Yeah, now it's everywhere. And so what happens when you get married? Do the, does the sign company name change or if she wants? I don't need my face on there. <laughs> you don't need <laughs> to be doing keep this? that. <laughs> building a brand in any business is the key to success. And building that brand around the owner is not a bad idea, as long as the owner is likable and relatable. It's nice to meet you, hey, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Marcus. I'm Joshua Thomas. So you do the designs here? I do uh, all the design work, um, run the machinery, uh, do all the production renderings. And do you do some of the design yourself as well? Yes. And does he? He tries to. She's doing all the all work. All the work, every, every little bit of it. <laughs> She's doing everything. What's Mr. ASL do? We like to keep him outside. We selling. Like keep him out. No, not selling, no. like installations. <laughs> Just doing the work. Why did everybody say no to you selling? I think a lot of people see him as being overbearing. Yeah. Too much? He's overwhelming. I am 100 miles an hour. He's loud. And so who does sales others? around here? Us three. Yeah, pretty much. Well, they're kind of not including you in that sales loop. Well, the we two of us are always in the office. Most of the time, he's not in the office. We have a couple salesmen, and this crew right here that I have is phenomenal. Then how do you guys get paid? You just you get a salary out of the business? Uh, yeah, I just started taking a salary maybe a month ago, two months ago, now that the bank account's starting to fill up. And uh, me and her kind I don't of get paid. No. She gets paid through my salary. If she needs money, I give it to her. <laughs> uh, let me see if I understand that again. She doesn't get paid, and if she needs something, you'll give it to her. Whatever she wants, that's correct. <laughs> It's surprising to me that Kristen is okay leaving Anthony in charge of her personal finances. She's helping Anthony run the company, and she's not even getting a check. Well, I just started taking a salary, too. Yeah. I, mean, I suffered for a long time as well. Thank God my father helped me out with a decent amount of stuff. Is your father in the sign business? He was a long time ago. Right. And he just retired and gave up on it, and he just sold everything off. Oh, okay. You know what? Can we actually look at some of the machinery? Sure, let's go up front. Anthony's got a great setup. There are machines that can blow up photographs. There you go. That can cut letters out of stainless steel. And he's got people that can work with the latest lighting technology. With all this in-house manufacturing, Anthony has to be generating some serious gross profit. Done. Man, that would take hours to do it the other way. See, there's no bubbles in it? There's no. nothing. Here's 450 bucks. Done. And what's it? What's this cost? Forty-five, maybe. Maybe forty-five dollars of labor. Tremendous market bonus. Okay. If the sign costs forty-five dollars to make and it sells for four hundred and fifty dollars, the margin is ninety percent. Because Anthony makes the signage in house, he's able to retain all of the margin. Seeing numbers like this makes investing in this industry a lot more attractive to me. And so, how does the chain of command here work? We we all try to work very well together. Who's the boss? I'm the boss. I like to be, and I hate to say it, I like to say, hey, I'm the boss. Let's just do it the way I want to do it. Because at the end of the day, if I make the mistake, I can't yell at them. You're laughing because you want to say something. It's true. Oh, me? Uh, so I'm stubborn. So he'll, he'll get, yeah, oh, yeah, he's just very stubborn. He'll, he'll get upset or frustrated when we say, can't do it that way, man. I do listen to all parties. He does. But there is a finite line. OK, I'm you sick of talking about that, it. I just said sometimes. Should be interesting. I still don't quite understand ASL's process, how they generate business, and how those orders are executed. So I walk the floor to talk to some of the employees. Sorry, nice okay. to meet you. How are you doing? JR, nice to meet you nice guys. Nice to meet you. How do you know where the jobs are? Yeah, we do all the work, so we, we pretty much know where so. everything's at. These signs here, I think. So when these in. signs come in, do you know who, what salesperson they belong to? No, no that, not, that we don't no. know. Okay. The shop seems very disorganized. So I wanted to talk to the sales team to find out how these jobs come in. Do you know how to follow up on a lead or? I call back, like all of these are here, they're people that I've talked to that said, call me in a few weeks, call me in this time. I feel like 1985 called and I want their know. sales process back. It's definitely not 100% accurate. Yeah. Maybe Anthony's father, Lewis, can shed some light about how Anthony runs things around here. How much money do you have in here? Uh, about two hundred and twenty, two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars somewhere. For real? Yeah. He hasn't paid you anything back. No, he has not. Oh my gosh. Is there anything that I should know about him? Be honest. That 
would drive me crazy that drives you crazy? I'm from the old school. I'm the old man. So sometimes he thinks he knows it all, and you have to straighten him out and say, you know, you don't know it all. When I was younger, hey, I thought I knew it all, too. Yeah. It's a terrible sign that Anthony doesn't take advice from his father, especially since his father is his banker. I wonder how he's going to take advice from an outside partner. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I need a sign refurbished. Do you do that? We can do it all, pretty much. What, what kind of a sign are we talking about? It's Pirate Land Resort, right down the street. Pirate Land Resort. Main sign out front. OK. So are you the owner? No. No, I'm the owner. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Todd, how, you doing? how are you? Pleasure to meet you, sir. This is my card, too. Um, He's giving his business card out. He would never do that. I can put it on there. Chris, um, you have a marker, please? How do you get the guy more committed than just giving him a business card? I can offer some, um, you know, free business cards. If he signs a sign with us, that's one of the things no, we no, can No, 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 no. Like, he came in to get what? Uh, a reface of a sign. OK, so what, what could you do right now that would get the guy to realize you're serious? I'm thinking. I, I don't know. His business is a mile down the road. I would go there. Why are you not going there? I, I, I don't know, Marcus. This isn't a test. No, I know, but what we would do is we usually would follow it up tomorrow or the next day. I wasn't asking you to change your process. I was asking you to tell me what your process was. I think we have a, a good system. I think he doesn't know what to do. I see a customer walk in, I see potential business, and Anthony's not doing anything to hustle the sale. I wanted to go over the financials with you. This is the financial statements through 12 to 13. Oh, OK. This we'll start is... with that. How much cash is in the bank right now? Right now, I'd say about $75,000. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. And how much in receivables? In receivables, we have 60000 So 135000 in assets. And then how much do you owe people? Credit cards, about, payables? About twenty five. OK. There's $135,000 on the books between cash and receivables. And there's only $25,000 in debt. For a new business, they're actually doing pretty good. Any other debt on the books? Um, just our debt with Lou. With Anthony's, Anthony's dad? dad. OK. Yes. And how much is that? Uh, roughly about $200,000. And so I don't see that on the balance sheet. Is that not on your books, but it's in reality? Or Yeah, it's not listed within the company. OK, so it's not a company asset, and it's right. not a company debt. So what I'm noticing is pretty good increase in sales. 2012, 105, 2013, 278. Where are you at year to date now? Right now we're at 441. OK. And what would you say you're going to finish at? I'm hoping, you know, between 6 and 7. That's pretty good growth. Mm -hmm. Really good growth, actually. And how much is the rent here a month? $2,000 a month. OK. And you guys pay that? Lou gives us $1,000. So he pays half the rent? Yeah. I mean, thank god he's here. I mean, you couldn't have started this business no way. without him. Nope. Mm -hmm. And does he own any shares in the business? No. You and Anthony own the equity? Anthony does. Not you? No. OK. It looks like you're involved in pretty much everything. It's, mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're not getting paid. Right. Everybody else thinks that they're just owed something, and you seem to just want to just put your head down and work for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. I don't get that same sense from Anthony. I can only say he'll always work as hard as I do. Yeah, no, no, no. I know, but him and you are very different. He, he's rare, and he loves to have fun. You know, he's not trying to be rude all the time. It's just sometimes it comes off that way, but he's really just trying to have fun. Mm -hmm. So The problem is people's demeanor rub anybody the wrong way. It's, it's a problem. And his dad had said that he's a know-it-all. Mm -hmm. That can really affect the business. This is a healthy business, and it's got real potential to grow and to grow quickly. And with any partner, I need to be comfortable. But I have to be honest, with Anthony, I have some real reservations. You guys have done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, think about it. It's a half a million dollar plus business. In a, 36 very, months. Yeah, very short period of time. You got money in the bank? Yeah. Anthony, why'd you call me here? I called you here because I'm looking for that, that, that next step in my business. I want to deal with a lot of uh, national companies. I don't want to deal with mom and pops anymore. With as many businesses that you own and all the people that you know, that you can bring that. But for you to say, I want to be your partner because you can bring me all your businesses, mm. we could just have a relationship and you could earn my business. Right. You don't have to be partners for us to do that. I don't see a need for me. I don't think you're going to listen. 
I think I think you think you know it all, and so that's going to be a challenge for me. No, you don't know me that much. Well, you just well, I don't know you that much, but everybody else, including your father, told me you're a know-it-all. Well, you shouldn't listen to what everybody else says. Like you said, you should listen to what you feel. Well, I feel that way too. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think you have a bright future. And you're going to be fine whether I'm in the deal or not. You're going to be fantastic. You're going to be in first place. Eventually. What is this time thing for you? I'm a now type of guy. But it's a marathon and not a sprint. I want to be in the sign business because I believe that every single person needs a sign. So I'm getting in the sign business. The question is, am I getting in the sign business with you? Tuesdays. I bought 51% of this business. I now control you, and I can throw you out. The Profit. All new episodes Tuesdays at 10 on the fastest growing cable network in primetime. I'm 100% in charge. CNBC.